Hi, my name's David, and I am a reseller on various platforms, including Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Depop. Um, I wanted to start off my video by sort of introducing myself and what got me into reselling, just because, um, in case you haven't noticed it from this blank channel, this is my first video. Um, I am a very avid watcher of reseller videos. Uh, some of my favorites that I can list right off is uh, Jack Valentine, uh, Becky Park, uh, Thrift Alife, uh, Big Yumbo. I, I follow a lot of those. I love watching them. Uh, even when it's just in the background, uh, Kaylee Ann is another one that I really like uh, just while I'm working. Um, but I started off probably in about 2018 and I didn't really start off seriously. I listed like one or two things and I think my first sale was on Poshmark. And it was a pair of Ivy Park slash Adidas uh, green track pants. And they sold uh, after a couple of weeks, just because I didn't really do anything about like sharing and stuff like that. I was very green, very new to the app. And uh, that was my first sale. I still probably didn't do much with the app for about half a year. And I am a, a big sort of fashion geek. I spend all of my time at the thrift store, even before I was a, a reseller, uh, just because I like buying clothes for myself. I'm, I like uh, vintage clothes, I like designer clothes, uh, and I like to wear nice outfits to work. Um, but uh, eventually I saw that there was an opportunity in it, and I've always, uh, I've always been sort of a person who has a sort of uh, entrepreneurial spirit. I like to also, uh, when I was a like when I was a kid, I used to walk dogs in my neighborhood. And uh, just growing up, I always had something going on uh, to sort of bring in extra money because you really never know in today's economy when things are suddenly going to take a turn. And it's good to have sort of something to fall back on, which I think reselling has been an amazing opportunity for. And I've been putting in a lot of work into it. And slowly but surely, I really am starting to see a lot of rewards from all the effort I'm putting into it. And I think a natural next step that I've always been interested in is uh, going on to social media and starting to uh, expand my business that way. So thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for taking a watch. I hope you like what you see. I, <laughs> I would say subscribe and whatnot, but to be honest with you, uh, I don't know what it's going to look like just yet in terms of my involvement in this, but I'd love to start working on this. I literally just bought this camera that I'm filming this on a couple of days ago, but uh, what we're going to start with is a sort of haul from a couple of different stores. I live in the Houston area, um, and there's a lot of a lot of thrift stores uh, here. There's all kinds of Goodwills. There's Salvation Armies. I think we have the most Goodwill outlet bins in the entire United States in the general area. And uh, I also like uh, Valley Village. Um, there's also Family Thrift Center, Family Thrift Center outlets. There's all kinds of opportunities. So uh, I went to a couple of different shops and I bought a fair amount of things. So I'd like to share that with you guys today um, and sort of talk through it in my first haul ever. It's going to be fun. So I guess let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'll try to let you guys know around what I paid for the item, uh, where I might have sourced it, and uh, any other sort of things that I find interesting about it. So first things first is this pair of uh, denim shorts. Probably not the ideal season for it. Uh, this is more of a spring-summer piece, but you know, you could wear this with black tights and it would look pretty cool. Uh, they're very 90s, very Y2K. You can see a big price tag right there for $6.99, I think it says. Uh, I must have bought this uh, yesterday during Wednesday at the Salvation Army. Uh, they have 50% off of all clothes, shoes, accessories, etc. It is by a brand called Not Guilty. And they are a size large. Made in the USA. That's usually an indicator of the item being a little bit older. And they are 100% cotton. Uh, the back is just plain, but the front has these polka dots. They're cool. Uh, in terms of what I would list them for, I think this will probably sell on Depop, maybe Poshmark, but 
but I, I feel like stuff like this really does better on Depop uh, for, I don't know, 25 30 bucks maybe if I'm lucky. I usually do free shipping on Depop, so we'll see. These are a pair of denim trousers. Trousers. Uh, I say that because they have the slant pocket, they have the sort of chino rear pocket, and they are by a brand that I haven't heard too much good stuff about lately, but I bought them. I thought I'd give it a shot. It is a uh, current Elliot. Hmm. Probably not the best angle for the camera. Let me see if I can move my thing a little bit closer. That way I can... Uh, getting nice and close to my face. Okay. Uh, so you can see right there that it says Current Elliot. Um, they are a size 29. That's an okay size. And uh, I figured since they are a wider leg, uh, they might do okay. They're mid-rise from what it looks like. I might just sit on them for a while. It's okay. I sit on plenty of things. But pretty sure I got those at uh, Salvation Army as well. Not sure where the tag is. But uh, Next is... There's a Goodwill tag. And they are a pair of black denim cutoff shorts. And <laughs> they are... They're, they're pretty rough, but they are rigid denim, made in Mexico, um, but 100% cotton, a size 20, I mean a size 36, and they are, it doesn't have an interior label, but you can see right here that they are Harley Davidson. I feel like if it doesn't really have any branding, it does have a sort of logo brand right there. But that if it doesn't have any uh, external branding, really, that it's probably not something you can really demand a lot for. Uh, even even nice Harley stuff, I feel like, still doesn't really do that hot in terms of return on investment. But I'd say probably about $25, $30. We'll see. Usually I'll price something a bit higher than what I really want for it, and I'm willing to accept an offer if it comes in. Uh, these are also from Goodwill, and I know a lot of brands have hang tags that mysteriously disappear, uh, but you could probably tell uh, from this hang tag what these are. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. These are Lululemon. And hopefully there's a size dot somewhere in there. Uh, I'm sure everyone in the resale community knows, but for anyone who doesn't, uh, if you cannot, if you don't have the tag on the item, you can usually find the size dot or a little imprinted dot that shows uh, what size the item is somewhere on the interior. Not all Lululemon products have a size dot, unfortunately. I'm sure these probably have it somewhere. But I'll, worst case scenario, I'll just take measurements and make it very explicit in the uh, listing. Uh, these are pretty cool. They're like a sort of velvety velour fabric. Uh, I'd say slightly tapered, not necessarily skinny, but they are a sort of lounge athleisure pant. So Lululemon has been sort of slowing down a bit, but I think considering uh, the fabric and the cut that these could do okay. Probably anywhere from like 45 to 50 bucks. We'll see. Here I have a pair of maternity pants. I think I've sold one pair of maternity pants in my entire uh, reselling career. And uh, these are kind of interesting because I don't, I don't know much about maternity at all. Uh, these are a pea in the pod but they are by Adriana Goldschmied. So I wonder, does P in the Pod like have a service where you can take like regular jeans in there and get them uh, to add this waistband? Uh, just because if you take a look at them, it doesn't look like they were made this way, um, at least not by a factory, but they're in pretty good condition. Uh, they have a mid to low rise, 
The leg is a slim slash straight leg, not a skinny. I'm trying to stay away from skinny as much as I can. Um, but these don't have a tag either. I probably got them at Goodwill and it just like rubbed off or something, but uh, we'll see how those can do. I'll probably wager on the safer side. Citizens of Humanity, or wait, not Citizens of Humanity, <laughs> Adriana Goldenschmied. I, I confuse these denim brands a lot. Uh, doesn't really do as much. I remember when I was in high school and like those were like the cool jeans to have. Um, but not so much anymore. It's okay. These things, uh, wax and wane. Uh, next I have, from Goodwill, these rose printed jeans. Uh, colored and printed denim I think is already on its way out, if it's not already out. Uh, these are a skinny pant, which is another nail in the coffin. Um, but I still think that they're pretty, pretty interesting. Um, and they are... A brand that I usually do okay with. I usually just sit on it for a couple of months, but uh, Le Gens, Le Agents, <laughs> um, size 27. And uh, let's see, anything else? They're called the Skinny Margot High Rise. Hopefully the High Rise helps to uh, save them a bit, but I'd wager probably about 35 to 40 for those. I'll have to check comps. I used to, I've very recently become very good about checking comps, but I used to not be good about it at all, so. Uh, these, I feel like I have a fair amount of this brand, but it doesn't move super quickly for me. At least not the way that it appears to move for other resellers, but these are Spanx. And they are the Slim X Super Skinny jean. I mean... They do make wide leg pants, but I mean, they're Spanx. Like, isn't the whole thing that they're supposed to be very, very, very skin tight and bodycon? Uh, they are a size 31, so a good size. And they're just a, a regular sort of high rise uh, skinny jean. Got these at Goodwill. They should be able to flip for I'll probably list them at like 45 or 50 and eventually get an offer for 40 and we'll be perfectly happy with that. Uh, this item is, you can tell from the fabric, I've developed a very good sort of eye for the fabric, uh, which I think every reseller does at some point, it's not special, but uh, it is 100% linen and the brand is called 100% uh, Lin Blanc, white linen size 48, so it's Italian sort of sizing. Oh, and I am just seeing now that there is a tear on the side, down the seam. Good news is, uh, growing up as a sort of thrifty person, uh, I do know how to use a sewing machine. I do also, uh, this could very easily be something that you hand stitch as well. Of course, in that situation, you want to disclose it in your listing and probably knock off a few dollars for it, but size 48, and it is a jumpsuit. Uh, one of those very sort of long login look. Login look means sort of layered, and it is wide leg. Mm, I'm seeing some light discoloration. Uh, this might be something that I might have to stain treat. Dawn dish soap. <laughs> it does the trick for a lot of stuff. Uh, every reseller knows that, but uh, just in case you didn't. This is a jumpsuit, or I suppose a, is there such a thing as a long romper? Uh, but it is Julia Jordan. I think I just bought this just because I saw others listed pretty well for it. It's wide leg, um, and it is a sort of halter neckline, but it's a size 10, and I saw that it was listed pretty well on Poshmark. I'm afraid this is one of those where I didn't really check the comps on it. So who knows, I might sit on this for the remainder of winter. But you know, I like pieces like this because I still think that they would look very uh, clever and put together in the winter season if you layer something like a crisp white uh, turtleneck under. I think it could still look very nice. 
Uh, there's the label, Julia Jordan. I don't think I'll go over like pricing for everything just because I'm not sure that's necessarily like what everyone here is looking for. If you really want to know about the prices, please feel free to drop a comment down below. There's another brand similar to Spanx that I do okay with. Uh, I tend to sit on the pieces. Uh, this is Beta Brand. It's a size medium long, so probably for a taller person. And they're just a light denim wash with a skinny leg. So, I imagine I might be sitting on these for a bit. But it's okay. If not in the winter, they should sell in the spring or summer. Uh, this is a pair of corduroys that I thought were pretty cool. Uh, they are by St. John Sport. Uh, I might be tempted to send these into the real rail, uh, but they are corduroy and they have a sort of jacquard paisley print pattern. Um, I'd say a straight leg, high rise, obviously very vintage, probably from like the 90s or 80s. Probably the 90s. Um, we'll see how much I do that for. These, I think, are absolutely perfect for the holidays. Uh, these, I believe I bought at a Pennywise resale, which is a resale shop up here that benefits uh, domestic violence survivors. Uh, love shopping there. Love supporting a cause. And uh, the brand, you all know it. You all love it. It is J. Crew. Uh, they are a plaid tartan trouser. They are a nice sort of wool fabric. Yeah, the shell is 100% wool. And they have a cool little tuxedo stripe. I've heard the tuxedo stripe is out, but I mean, I feel like it's so classic that it always looks good. I like tuxedo stripes. I wear them if I ever find them for myself. Uh... No pockets, except for the rear pockets, but a very nice pant. Uh, definitely a slim or skinny leg, but I think it would look perfect for the holiday season. So I need to get those listed ASAP. I also have here a from Goodwill. Oh, another brand that is not doing too hot anymore. Not like it used to. Uh, Madewell. They are the 10-inch road tripper in a size 27. So a skinny leg, which means I'm probably gonna sit on these for a significant amount of time. They must have been half off or something because otherwise I usually leave something like that behind. These are sort of a first for me. I think I've only sold pajamas a couple of times, but these are super cool. They are, uh, by a brand, the Cat's Pajamas, and they have cats! Isn't that cool? Uh, they were purchased at Goodwill, and of course Goodwill marks pajamas dirt cheap. Um, and here is the matching pant. And uh, I gotta tell you, like, the pajamas are sometimes gross and like, hilly and it's obviously someone slept in them for like a hundred years but uh, these don't appear to have been worn at all so I think that they will do fine for the holiday season oh yeah especially because they are uh, new with tag made in California good to know uh, and I actually have another pajama set these are by a brand called Print Fresh. And they have uh, these sort of, you guys, I, I can't, Ti not tigers, cheetahs, leopards. I always have to Google whenever I have a cheetah print or leopard print something about What's the difference? It's something I can't seem to memorize, no matter how frequently I do it. And here we have the top. And these are also new with tag. Ridiculous. 
but this is just the shirt. Really cool print. And these are a size large. Thankfully they are both the same size, so that should do well. Uh, sort of an unusual purchase that I found at a family thrift center. Outlet, of all places, is... Ta-da! These are for... I can't remember if it was for... I think it's for a, a snowboard. But um, they retail for like 300 or something like that. And based off of like my initial review of them, I made sure to take a close look at the uh, retailer site because they do still have these. Uh, that all the clips are in place, everything appears to be pretty sturdy. Um, and they are burdened, they say mission here. I literally don't know anything about these, but uh, I figured I'd give them a shot. They were probably about two bucks, so, and they just had them covered in tape, so there's a bit of sticky residue. There's also this sort of like white residue on here, but I'm gonna try cleaning them up and then uh, I get the feeling that could probably do okay on eBay. A uh, couple of other things I have. This was a really nice designer find and uh, Goodwill, they're slick. A lot of the thrift stores are very slick. Um, they are getting much better at locating designer merchandise and moving it to their boutique section at a price that will likely guarantee that item is eventually going to end up at the bins, but uh, this brand is, let's see if it shows up well, it is Kate. I think that's how it's pronounced. K-H-A-I-T-E. It's uh, made in Italy and look at these. They are beautiful. They're tiny little uh, kitten heel mules. They have a very angular pointed upper and very witch core, I would probably list in the description, um, but mules are still hot even in the colder months, and unfortunately a very small size. They are a size 36, which I think is like a, a 6 or a 5.5, um, but they are in incredible condition. Uh, they were $6.99, because apparently Goodwill don't know Kate, um, and they have very minimal wear. Uh, I will... I'm debating if I should list these myself or if I should send them into the real rail. Just because, from what I can see on the real rail, they do mark shoes very well from this brand. So, we'll see. I might list them myself, maybe leave them up for a couple of months, and if they don't sell, then move them over to the real rail. I have very uh, mixed luck because those retail for a few hundred, and uh, I would ideally want to get a couple of hundred for them just from what I've seen comps are, but I find that when I list a luxury item at that price, I usually sit on it for years um, until someone eventually sends me like, I don't know, a hundred dollar offer or something and I, I just like fold. Um, I don't know what the secret is to getting like multiple figure um, sales, but we'll see. We'll give it a shot. This one is a new brand to me that I did not know. And to be honest, when I saw this shoe, I thought it was like very basic. And you can see the text in there, it says Sarah Flint. And when I saw it in the store, it was a family thrift outlet. Um, I thought this must be like some like, I don't know, DSW cheap department store brand, just because I thought this didn't look anything special, but no. These shoes retail for, I think they sell for like four to $500 new, and they do appear to re hold their resale value. They sell for about $250 uh, at the higher end, and they are in very good condition. Uh, the prior owner got a Vibram sole on the bottom, uh, and thankfully this is not Goodwill, so they don't, well, there's some red marker there from the, uh, the retail store, but I think I should be able to get that off. Um, and looking at them now, they do have a very nice sort of angular shape. You can see the inside. I heard that these shoes are very comfortable, um, but uh, I will try listing those as well. I think the real real also takes them, but I don't know how they how they price them. We'll see. Okay, so that's all I have in this first haul. Again, this is my first video. Thank you so much if you actually took the time to watch the entirety of it. And I'd say you are welcome to like, comment, subscribe uh, if you want to see more content. I'm going to uh, try to sort of 
work on editing this video and putting it up and seeing uh, what the response is, which I imagine it's a first video. I might get like two views or something. Maybe half a comment from a spam bot or someone telling me I hate resellers. Uh, but we will we'll see what happens. Uh, I hope that I can share a lot of information. I hope I can learn a lot of stuff from fellow resellers in the community as well. And uh, I look forward to the ride. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.